Chapter 3, Lesson 5, Divide Multi-Digit Numbers, which also means long division. Example 1, find 245 divided by 7. So 245 is going to go under the division box. We're going to divide that by 7. So first, 7 doesn't go into 2. So we're going to see if 7 goes into 24. 7 goes into 24 three times, which gives us 21. We're going to subtract, and we get 3. Now you're going to carry down the 5. 7 goes into 35 five times. 7 times 5 gives us 35, so we have no remainder. So the answer to this is 35. Example 2. Find 780 divided by 65. So 780 is going to go underneath the division bar, and we're going to divide by 65. So 65 goes into 78 one time, which equals 65. Now we're going to subtract. We get 13. Now we're going to bring down the zero. 65 goes into 130 two times, which gives us 130. So we have no remainder. So the answer is 12. Example 3. Find 180 divided by 72. So 180 is going to go under the division bar. So 72 doesn't go into 1. It doesn't go into 18. So we need to see how many times it goes into 180. So 72 will fit into 180 two times. 72 times 2 gives us 144, so now we're going to subtract. We have to borrow. 10 minus 4 gives us 6. 7 minus 4 gives us 3. So now we have to add a decimal and add a zero and bring down the zero. So now 72 goes into 360 five times. Now we have to carry up the decimal. 72 times 5 gives us 360, so we have no remainder. So 180 divided by 72 is 2.5. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. When you're done, press play to resume the video and check your answers. Example 4. A university enrolls 94,570 students this year. There are 90 majors they can declare from, and there are an equal number of students in each major. How many students are in each major? So if there are 94,570 students, then we need to divide that by the 98 majors that they can choose from to see how many students are in each major. So 98 can't go into 9, it can't go into 94, so we have to see how many times it goes into 945. So 98 goes into 945 9 times, 9 times 98 gives us 882. So now we have 3, this becomes 14, this becomes 8, so we end up with 63, now we're going to carry down the 7. So 98 goes into 637 six times, which equals 588. So now we're going to borrow. This becomes a 17, then this would become a 2. So now this becomes a 12, and this becomes a 5. So now we have 9 and 4, so we have 49. Now I'm going to carry down the 0. So now 98 goes into 490. 
five times exactly. So we have no remainder, so there are 965 students in each major. Pause the video here and try this one yourself to check for understanding. Then press play to check your answer.